It's a perfect time of the year to talk about soil. It's that time of year when the snow starts to thaw and you can smell the soil when it starts to get a little bit warmer. It's a great time to think about soil and what it means. Um, believe it or not, uh, the soil that we have in Wisconsin, particularly this part of the state, is actually some of the best soil in the country. People came here and settled here in part because the soil was so fertile and so great. And so it's easy to overlook it because it's underneath your feet all the time. And you think, oh, this is just part of the way it is. But we know that in other parts of the world, they are losing their soils. They're, the interplay of water and soil and how it all works together, it really makes a big difference. And even, even Racine, its name, does anybody know where the name Racine comes from? France. A little bit louder. It means root, that's right. It is French for root. Um, but before it was called Racine or the Root River, does anybody know what the Potawatomi called it? So the word that they used was Kipikawi, and that also means root. So it's always been called the Root River um, in one language or another. The Potawatomi called it the Root River. The French called it Racine. We now call it the Root. Same river name, three different languages. But the reason I bring it up around soil is the reason that Kipikawi called it that was in reference to the plants that they could plant along the river. And, and they would use that trade to trade food and make food from those plants. So really the state of our soil has always been part of our story from the beginning since when the Potawatomi were here. It's such an important piece of it. In, in Madison at the University of Wisconsin, there's an agronomy building. Um, and it's actually an entire building and an entire major for the study of dirt. <laughs> it's dedicated to dirt. And so you might think, what is there that you could possibly talk about in an entire building, an entire field of study? But it turns out it's critically important to the food that we rely on for the way water moves around and whether or not we have to build big infrastructure because we've maybe paved over too much of the soil. It really plays into our daily lives in ways that you can't imagine. So it's easy to look at the soil underneath your feet and take it for granted, but I'm sure as you guys begin to plant those gardens and get your hands in there and start to think about it and watch things grow, you'll see that future take root uh, as the Potawatomi did and the French did and we do here today. So one of the great things I get to do as mayor is proclamations. I get to proclaim things on the official side of what the city is and what we're standing for. And in concert with what you're doing here today, I do have a proclamation around Save Soil that I'm gonna read to you all now. It's a proclamation from the city of Racine. It says, whereas Save Soil is a global movement launched by Sadhguru, the founder and head of the Isha Foundation, and is a joint initiative with Conscious Planet to unite world leaders, visionaries, influencers, and citizens of all nations behind a common purpose, to restore and safeguard the world's soil. And whereas Save Soil, supported by the United Nations Environmental Program, the World Food Program, and other eminent institutions, aims to address the global soil crisis by bringing awareness to 52% of the world's agriculture soils are already degraded and by 2050, 90% of Earth's soils could be degraded. And whereas soil degradation leads to nutritional deficiencies, food insecurity, water shortages, adverse climate changes, loss of biodiversity, mass migration, and the pro proposed solution is to advocate for policies across all nations to increase organic content in agricultural soil to a minimum of three to six percent. And whereas the city of Racine has numerous community gardens promoting locally grown food and care for the earth, and whereas the city of Racine and surrounding communities are actively pursuing sustainability initiatives such as food waste composting, now therefore I, Corey Mason, Mayor of the City of Racine, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim March 21st as Save Soil Day and the week of March 20th through 25th as Save Soil Week. Soil is vital to all life, and I urge all people to be part of the Save Soil movement to create a brighter future for our children and our planet. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Racine to be affixed. So here it is. Yay.